Good morning, Marcus Conti reporting from his kitchen, pal. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of breaking news. This is very interesting. New York politics. You ready for this shit? Democrats, I told you they were going to stick a knife in uh, Cynthia Nixon's back. Here comes the knife, right? So uh, like two nights ago, right? Right before Rosh Hashanah, right? The big Jewish holiday. I told you some kind of... I said, all right, I said, you know, more of a false flag or... Or some kind of big event. But this is what they did to, to Cynthia Nixon, right? No way they're going to let Cynthia Nixon near the gubernatorial seat. And no way they're going to let um, Zephyr Teach out as the uh, Attorney General. So, so New, York, uh, the, the New York Post reporting, right? So, so late at night, right? Uh, right before Rosh Hashanah, which was uh, uh, S- Sunday. Right. Yesterday. The the Democratic Committee, the uh, the the. uh, What is it? Yeah, the state party, the state Democratic Party sends out a hit piece on Cynthia Nixon to the Jewish community. They sent out a mailer and there's about, uh, I don't know, 7000, a lot of Jews in New York. It's a very it's a very uh, influential vote and they all turn out and vote and. But this is, again, manufacturing consent because it doesn't really matter because we know the election is rigged, but they're manufacturing the consent. So what did they do? So to cover a little ass, what what happened was city controller, city controller Scott Stinger, Stinger, Sunday night called for the resignation of Democratic Party Executive uh, Director Jeff Berman over a controversial party mailer that falsely accused gubernatorial candidate Cynthia Nixon of condoning anti-Semitism. <laughs> Singer, one of New York's top Democrats, tweeted heading into the two Jewish holidays, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, last thought before sundown, right? Berman, a Jew. Ber- uh, 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 Stinger, Berman, Berman must resign. So they're blaming the controller. They're blaming the, the head of the Democratic Party. Now, Cuomo gave two million, three million, five million dollars to the Democratic Party. This is what I'm trying to tell you: is that the, the Democratic elections, the primaries, are fake. Right? They're rigged from the top down. Right? Springer demanded for accountability, showing that the fallout over the mailer put out by the party committee, right? <laughs> controlled and largely funded by Cuomo, is intensifying, not substances subsiding right so this is the democratic party hatcheting a fellow democrat running in the party cynthia nixon and calling her an anti-semite what did they actually say the mailer went out on uh, the mailer went on accusing nixon of being silent on the rise of anti-semitism and of supporting the boycott divestment and sanction movement against Israel. Ah. <laughs> Win the Jewish vote, say you're not say you're not uh, supporting Israel, right? What else did she say? With anti-Semitism and bigotry on the rise, we can't take a chance with inexperienced Cynthia Nixon. Now, this is going out to the Jewish community in New York City, right? Or New York State, and you know, just for the record, Cynthia Nixon is a, is, has, has a Jewish husband and two Jewish children in Jewish schools. Yeshiva, whatever the fuck, right? <laughs> so this is, this is who you trust, lefties. Wake up. They just stuck a knife in your, in your candidate's back. Now, does this swing an election? Look, the, all Jewish people now into Rosh Hashanah, they're not paying attention anymore. They got the message. Cynthia Nixon's a, a Jew hater, right? So they come out of the holiday, and then and then it's going to be 9/11 and, and tomorrow, and the the big you know the big pro-Israel move and and anti-Muslim and all that shit, right? And they're manufacturing consent because what's going to happen is Cynthia Nixon is 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 wildly popular, and they gotta they gotta fake it somehow. So she you're going to see in this election, you'll see Cynthia Nixon win a lot of the upstate counties right where the elections are harder to rig right because more people are paying attention but she'll but but Cuomo will sweep New York City and then they'll declare him the governor so this is again it's not it's not an election it's not an election but but I think the takeaway 
is the audacity of the audacity of hope. You remember yesterday, uh, fucking Obama, right? Hold on a second. Obama is on, um, is is out there at Illinois State University, and he's telling the kids, "Vote, vote, vote." See, and this is this is what's called election rigging. This is election fraud, where you're rigging the, you're rigging this the 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 outcome of an election so severely against one candidate that there's no possibility of winning. Now, it's obvious, right? Cuomo's denying it. No, oh, we didn't. I didn't do it. I don't know what. Who me? I don't know nothing about it. What? It's fucking what? What? What anti-Jew mailer? Show me the Jew mailer. I don't know what you're talking about. Right? That's Cuomo right now. But you know he set it up. You know that, right? And Stinger's calling him out on it, right? And Berman. They'll say, oh, yeah, you should resign. He's not going to resign. That's bullshit. He's not going to resign. All right. Oh, it was a mistake. It was, just a, it was just a big mistake, right? So, 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 um, so that's all. I mean, I, I think the takeaway is, will Cuomo, not Cuomo, will, will Cynthia Nixon actually have some kind of integrity? And after Cuomo beats her, right, beats her, quote, beats her in the election, Right? Will she run independent come November sixth, Cynthia? Will you do that? Will you have the 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 audacity of hope? Hope Remember Obama, hope is so fucking helpful. Right? Will you do it? Will you run against will you run against this guy? This guy just stuck a knife in your back. Lefties, what are you doing? You sleeping again? You guys are going back to sleep. Lefty, lefty lef, lefty liberal. Lefty liberals, they're, they're stealing your election from you. You're going to sit down and let that happen? You're going to take that sitting down? Guys are bad news, man. Guys are bad news. Hopeful. You're hopeful. You think that, <laughs> you think that you're going to overcome this one, right? I said, Psst, you think you're going to overcome this, right? Fucking Cynthia Nixon, right? It was a great pick. It was a great vision. I love it. It was fucking so good. She's so, oh my God, Sex in the City. She's so fucking perfect for us. Oh my God. Right? And now they stuck a knife in your back. And what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? See? The elections are, they're fucking, they're stealing this from you, man. That's not, that's not some, some super PAC doing it. That is the committee that you're signing up to be part of. The Democrats, the Democrats did this to you. The Democrats did this to you. They smeared your candidate in the Jewish community, falsely smeared your candidate, and you're going to take that sitting down. I don't know, man. Count me out. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.